You could be tripping over your jump rope because you're holding the rope up too high like this. When you do that, the rope doesn't have enough room to clear underneath your feet. So try and hold the rope right to the side of your hips right here in the middle of your body so that there's enough room so that the rope clears your head with the same amount of room up top as it does on the bottom. You might be tripping over your jump rope because you're looking down at your feet. Now that seems like, why would I trip over my feet if I'm looking at them? But sometimes you just get too focused on your feet instead of the rhythm of the rope. So look straight ahead and just practice. You'll get used to it after a while, but you're gonna trip a lot less often if you're looking straight forward and not down at your feet. You also might be tripping because you're flat-footed. I see a lot of people not up on their toes, jumping like this. Not only is that not going to allow you to skip rope correctly, but jumping rope like this is definitely not good for your lower back. It could be that you're trying to do too many tricks too soon. We always talk about getting the fundamentals down. So make sure you check out, we have a little uh, YouTube short that's the first 10 jump rope moves that you should master. You wanna make sure that you get the fundamentals down before you move on to tricks or else you're just gonna get frustrated, keep tripping, and then you're probably gonna give up. You might be tripping because you're jumping on an uneven surface. This happens to me a lot when I'm on like a ramp or you know, like a sloped parking garage and you're trying to jump, but you're actually at a slant and you keep wondering, why am I hitting my feet? Well, it's because the rope is basically hitting the ground at a slant, so it's hitting the ground way before your feet has time or room to clear it. So try to find spaces that are as flat as possible. Even if you have your mat somewhere, but you're like on a little bit of a step, it's going to create this little like bump that's probably gonna mess your rope up when it skips around. You could be tripping on your jump rope because you're just getting too frustrated, you know? I know, I get it, listen. I hate when I trip, especially if I'm trying to accomplish something or I'm having a stressful day and I just wanna get a really good workout in or I'm trying to learn a new trick and if I keep tripping over my rope, that can be very frustrating. I've definitely broken some jump rope handles this way. But you have to remind yourself, this is just part of the game. You're always gonna trip. I've been jumping rope for 10 years and I still mess up pretty much every single time that I go to do a workout or to skip. So, you know, give yourself some grace, calm down and keep getting after it. You might be tripping on your jump rope because you just have the wrong rope. I actually made a video about the three types of jump ropes that I hate. And this leather one right here is one of them just because it doesn't have a lot of feedback so you might just be with, you know, you might just have the wrong rope and that's preventing you from progressing at jump rope. So I would check out a PVC rope, maybe a beaded rope, something with a little bit of weight to it. And of course, the one that we always use is the cross rope get lean set. Could also be that you don't have the right size of jump rope. Like, look at this, this, too, this is just too short. I can't, there's no, there's, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to jump rope with this. Now, there's a lot of arguments about the correct length of jump rope, but I would say if you step in the middle of your rope and pull it up, the handles should come somewhere in between right here at your chest and right above your shoulder. I'm gonna give you guys a good like nine to 10 inch leeway because I know some people like longer ropes, some people like shorter, but if your rope is like coming up to here, that's too short. And if your rope is like going the whole way up here, that's too long and you're probably gonna trip. You might be tripping because your wrists are too tight. I see a lot of people like going like this, you want your wrists to lead the rope around like this. You want your wrist to be nice and loose. If you're too tight, that's gonna make things a lot more difficult and you're gonna hit your feet. Could simply be that you're not warmed up enough. I see a lot of people tripping on the rope just because they start doing it right away without a proper warm up. So be sure to check out the Jump Rope Dude warm up that we have on this channel. I also have some stretching videos on here which I'll link up, but you wanna make sure you're nice and bouncy when you get started so that you lessen the probability of tripping. You might not be bending your knees enough. Remember, when you're jumping rope, you wanna be nice and springy like this. If you're like going like this, you're not gonna get off the ground enough. And I see a lot of people doing that, especially when they start. And it's just a product of being a little bit too tight and not used to that flow. But make sure that you're bending your knees enough so that that rope can go underneath your feet. Could be that you didn't sleep enough last night. Maybe you're just not rested enough and you're not ready to just wake up and get right into your workout. So you're feeling a little groggy and that's affecting your ability to just kind of, you know, be bouncy and warmed up like I talked about. So make sure that you get enough sleep, make sure you're warmed up. It's gonna help you a lot in your workouts. Could also be that you just haven't found your rhythm yet. Jumping rope is definitely a skill and a flow that you need to develop. So at the beginning, you might just be thinking about it too much. You might just be too tight. You have to eventually just practice and get used to just being a lot more loose with the jump rope. And like I said, finding your own flow and rhythm, but that's not gonna come immediately. You have to practice and continue to do the thing. 